Well, I have to find out, don't I? I don't really know. I've never been here before. Um, clearly, uh, this appointment and my appointment to the Congregation for Bishops uh, are going to make inroads into my diary. And, and it will mean more frequent trips to Rome. But fortunately, you know, Rome's not that far away. And, uh, and I'll try and manage these things as best I can. We've had many cardinals in England and Wales. And also, I was thinking back to Cardinal Newman mm. and your links with Birmingham, your yes, links sure. with Catholic education sure. in this country. Sure. Um, what does it mean to you personally to be created a cardinal? Well, I, haven't, I, I suppose I haven't really taken it in yet. Um, as I say, I do feel um, humbled and, and very conscious of my own shortcomings. Um, but it is, uh, it's a summons, that's how I see it. Uh, it's another step in, in my life as a priest and one in which I willingly embrace and simply promise to do my best. I, I dare say, you know, major profiles and things like that come after a person's died, not during their life. And because we all of us just get on and do our best day by day, and that's certainly what I'll do. Let's talk a little bit about the 22nd of February, the consistory. Just for those of us that might know exactly what happens, to the best of your understanding, what, what is the shape of the day or the weekend? Well, do you know, I've never attended a consistory before, so this is another first for me. As far as I understand, uh, on the 22nd of February, there is this formal gathering of, of cardinals in public. So it's a, a public ceremony in which um, the Holy Father announces again who the new cardinals are and presents each one, I think, with the symbolic beretta and the ring of a cardinal. And I'm not sure, I don't think that takes place in the context of the celebration of Mass. So the celebration of Mass then comes the next day on Sunday the 23rd, uh, again in a big ceremony, presumably out of doors in St. Peter's Square. I think on Saturday evening, I think each new cardinal is given a place somewhere in the halls of the Holy See where he may receive those who wish to come and greet him. So I think that's part of a formal ceremony. So there'll be, what is it, 16 new cardinals scattered around the place. And those, I suppose, who are really energetic might get round all 16 to greet every single one of them. But I think there's that um, part of the formalities on the sun Saturday evening. And then probably the most important thing is the concelebration of Mass the celebration of Mass in St. Peter's Square on the morning of Sunday the 23rd. And is it the case that you get, administratively, a church in Rome to look after? I think so, because um, the, the cardinals are, in one sense, seen as the senior parish priests of the Diocese of Rome and therefore the major uh, consultors for the Pope. So I expect on the consistory on the Saturday that there will be an announcement of the titular church of each of the new cardinals, yes. Now, our Holy Father, Pope Francis, we, we've seen an awful lot in 10 months, particularly his personality, his style. Um, how do you foresee being able to help him in his ministry? Well, he's doing a great job, isn't he? So I'm not sure really he needs too much help from me. Um, but clearly, most importantly, I will pray for him. I think this kind of strengthens the bond between us. For me so far, uh, the symbolic bond between myself and the Holy Father has been the pallium. Because when I went to Birmingham, then I received from John Paul II the pallium, which was that special link between an archbishop and the papacy. And again, when I came to Westminster, I received a pallium from Benedict XVI. And they are symbols of that bond. But now to be a member of the College of Cardinals intensifies that. And clearly there are practical ways in which I will be asked to help. So for example, I understand uh, that every now and then there's a consistory of cardinals to discuss this or that theme. So there will be, I'm sure, meetings about the family in preparation for the Synod of Bishops. So that they will be, I think for me, very remarkable experiences. 
and obviously quite new, to be directly in the company of the Holy Father to talk about some of the major issues facing the Church and the presentation of the Gospel in the world today. And in just short of a year, we've seen a lot of humility from Pope Francis, as indeed we did uh, with Pope Benedict, when, particularly when he was over here in England and Wales. Do you think the office of Cardinal is, is a more humble one these days, perhaps, than it ever was? Well, I think the Holy Father would want to say, don't get carried away with all the fuss and bother. Do concentrate on this as a service to the Holy See. And Pope John Paul II used a lovely phrase consistently. He talked of himself as a servant of the Apostolic See. And I like that phrase because it is that place of Rome in which, as it were, the apostolic character of the Church, that it comes from the Apostles, is, is rooted, it sinks its, its roots into the earth, as it were, there. And to serve the strength of the Apostolic See, for me, is a great privilege. And finally, Archbishop Vincent, in your, your own diocese here in Westminster, you've had a great many well wishes uh, from Catholics in England and Wales, from, from politicians, from senior figures. Um, what would you say to all those people that have been very heartily uh, congratulating you on this particular... Well, I'm trying to, so far, reply to as many as I can. And, and the simple thing I say is thank you very, very much for your greetings and your good wishes. Please, please remember me in your prayers.